Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to show you how to improve your audio quality with two free programs. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to the program I listed below, which will be in the description. Which is this. I'll take you to this. And the first program you're going to want to install, it's a driver. It's called Virtual Audio Cable. Scroll down a couple panels and you'll see the download button. Click it. It'll download, not a big file at all. Open that bad boy. You'll get two setup application folders. Now, if you have a 64 bit PC, you're going to want to choose the X64, but if you have a 32 bit, you want to choose the, just the regular setup one. Double click it, click run. Then you'll have um, virtual audio cable driver installation window. Now, for me, since I already have it installed, it says remove driver, but if you but if you're just installing, it'll say install driver. And you're going to go ahead and click it. And then it'll do it for you. Not long at all. Then that's done. And then you're going to go to the same web page where you downloaded virtual audio cable. And click on the voice meter tab. Once you're there, you're going to want to go three panels down. Or two panels down. And then click download. It doesn't matter which one. It's download now. Click it, it'll run, it'll download a zip folder, and then when it's done, just open it, and you'll have the application install. Application installer. Now you're going to have to restart your PC in order for the application to open and run. But once you're done, your computer's back and running, you'll have this program. When you first start up, there's not going to be like, um, you know, just these kind of displays. It's going to be completely empty. What you're going to have to do is, is select your input and output. So, go to your hardware input, select your microphone. In my case, it's a Yeti stereo microphone. Since it's stereo, I have the S clicked. And you can adjust you know, what you sound like here. For me, I use the bottom left box right in the middle. You can adjust your volume here. And then you want to select your output. Now, when you click the A1, you have a cable input. You want to click that and then the program should be up and ready to go. And it should work with any recording programs like Audacity. You'll have it there. And it'll sound good. I haven't been recording this with the method that I'm showing you right now. So I'll give it a go right now. So right now I am recording in Audacity using the method. Hopefully you can hear the difference in my voice. For me, I can tell the difference. <laughs> sounds really good. Sounds really awesome. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you. And yeah.